Well, CAVE stands for Computer Automated Virtual Environment, um, and in IDT we have the specific type CAVE. Um, the CAVE is a virtual environment, um, so it allows a virtual world to be run within it. Uh, unfortunately, not right now because it's not working at full potential, but it allows a 3D virtual world. So it allows virtual models to appear within the cave, and it also allows the appearance of models that are very far away and images and world that are very far away within it. So the way that I describe it most often is that it's like a holodeck from Star Trek, except without the substance. Well, we use for various kinds of research. We're hoping to use it for a, a number of different research projects here, including projects in psychology. The model making uh, students are also hoping to, to do some work and to uh, demonstrate some of their models in 3D format within the cave. Um, and we're also hoping to use it for commercialization, so we're hoping to start to, to bring in companies who want to do research and let them use the facilities here. The cave, uh, including its warranty, cost about half a million euro. So it was funded by Enterprise Ireland. Uh, it's mainly just covered already under the maintenance. So beyond the use of the room and the air conditioning power and so on, other than that, there isn't any cost. Uh, it works. It's got four uh, cinema grade projectors. So you can see there's one up there. Um, and there's one behind each of the screens as well. Well, there works on the floor using a, a giant mirror here. Um, and what it does is it portrays images very much like the cinemas portray 3D films. Um, and the people who are using it use these goggles. Um, the goggles, I'm not sure if you can see effectively, but they're, they're shuttering, so you can see a slight flicker within there. And basically what it does is it makes sure that the right image is portrayed to the eyes at the right time and allows that perception of three dimensions. The cave also uh, keeps track of where people are within the cave. So on this particular set of goggles, we have um, two little infrared emitters, one on each end. And those are picked up by six cameras that are scattered around the cave. That means that the image that's portrayed within the cave will change according to where you are, where you're looking. So even as you crouch down the ground or if you make yourself taller and jump in the air, it would adjust the image according to that. From a user perspective who actually just wants to explore the virtual world, it's extremely easy. Um, they just wear these goggles, they walk into the world, the world adjusts as you see it. We also have a wand with a remote control that basically if they want to cover a larger distance, they can cover it and just interact with the environment using buttons that are very similar to a mouse button. Um, running the virtual worlds are a whole other matter. Um, that requires Python programming skills. Um, being familiar with all the equipment here and using it all correctly, which is much more detailed. So we tend to hope to use, um, to allow students to experience the virtual worlds, but it's quite an awful lot of work to learn how to create the virtual environments and keep the programs going. Well, we've been talking about it for a few years now, um, and it was about 18 months ago that Enterprise Ireland made a call for uh, hardware equipment. Uh, which we applied for and we were successful in summer of 2008. So it took a year for it to get from successful application, considering the different companies that were available, deciding what kind of exactly spec system we wanted, and it was installed in September only. Okay. Uh, the cave is made up by a lot of different people. I mean, basically the. The screens are made by a company, uh, the projectors are made by a different company, the mirrors are made by another company. company. So the, it was provided by a company called Vertalis, who effectively took all the different elements and put them all together. Thank you.